Okay, I am with the Miniature Tigers and they just arrived in Seattle from Portland. They played a show there last night and tonight they are playing the Azteca on East Lake. Um, okay, tell me your names and what each of you does in the band. I'm Rick and I play the drums. I'm Charlie and I play guitar and sing. I'm Alex, I play bass. I'm Algernon, I play guitar. That's Luke over there. Oh. Hey guys. Hey, what's oh, up? <laughs> hey, imaginary peoples. <laughs> Um, Luke Burbank is here. That kind of leads us into our first question. Um, so you're playing Azteca tonight with for like a TVTL Lister party. How did that happen? Um, well, we came, we did Luke's show uh, last time we were in Seattle, and then um, and I think we just kind of wanted to all. I mean, we really got along and everything. And I think we all just wanted to do something again, and I guess this idea came up from some fun. Yeah, so that's pretty much how it started, I guess. And um, you all are from Phoenix, well, mostly from Phoenix, or some of you claim LA as a home as well, right? Um, is this the first time you played an authentic Mexican restaurant, like Azteca? Um, yeah. Is it authentic? It's as authentic as you'll get in Eastlake, I bet. Okay, for I've Seattle. actually played a uh, Mi Amigos franchise. In Arizona, did you really? Time. Yeah, I played Trey Sombreros. It, it was cool. kind of it was kind of weird to be honest. Mm -hmm. And were they still serving nachos or? Yeah, it was the full course meals. Okay. The uh, mini chimis. And now, do you think you'll be tailoring your set to something that fits the Azteca background, or are you doing just your usual? No, we have a whole set stuff? planned out for the Aztec. <laughs> <laughs> the Aztec thing. <laughs> it's gonna be. Very what is it called? The Azteca. <laughs> we have this whole thing, elaborate thing, planned out for it. <laughs> it's gonna be. Soon. With some rows and We're gonna grow mustaches <laughs> in five minutes. Fair enough. That should be good. Um, are you, for the set? I I read that you guys are doing some covers in your set, like Mamma Mia. Yeah, is we just uh, we just started playing Mamma Mia for the first time uh, as a cover, like our first cover song as a band. Yep. So that's been fun. Are you thinking of adding any more ABBA songs? Uh, you know, I'd like to. I love ABBA. So you're the ABBA fan? And how did you convince everyone else to learn Mamma Mia? I told them I'd kick them out of the band and <laughs> do it. Very true. They yeah. said, yes, Master, I will do what you say. He didn't really have to twist our arms. It's, it's, a, it's a delightful song. I like it. Does each band member get to pick a different song to cover in the future? Uh, mm -hmm. Probably Maybe. not. <laughs> yeah. What would you choose? Yeah, what would you choose, guys? Probably Rocket Man. <laughs> wow, I had no idea. Okay, maybe we'll hear that today. What about you guys? Uh, maybe something courtesy of the Bee Gees. Oh yeah, I'd be into yeah. a Bee Gees cover for sure. Yeah. I love the Bee Gees. Maybe yeah, we could do like The Last Dance or something like that. Mm. <laughs> mm. See, we don't get to pick our songs. <laughs> no, no, sorry. Mm. Listen. No. Is this the last date on your mini tour of the West Coast? Uh, yeah, this is, this is the last, last little, yeah. And what are you doing after this? Are you like road tripping back down to Phoenix? Or are you like, yeah. gonna just like I think we're take just it gonna, slow? And... I think we're just gonna start our journey home tonight. Tonight? Yeah. After Azteca rocks out? Yep, exactly. And uh, are you going to work on the album when you get home? Or are you gonna plan another tour? Don't we have another tour plan at some point? <laughs> I think so. Probably something going on in the fall um, that we're looking to do. And then uh, as far as our album goes, we're going to start recording this year. And um, I'm not sure exactly when, but sometime this year we're going to start. Do you, do you guys feature any songs that might be on the new album in your set? Uh, yeah, we play a few of them in our set now. Are you excited? Are you working them through? Do, do they feel pretty finished? What do you think? I don't know. They feel pretty finished playing them live, but I don't know how they'll turn out when you record them, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Right. It's a different thing. And do you have any kind of, like, brainstorms? And I know you like to, at least, it sounds like, reference pop culture -y things. Do you have any kind of ideas and influences that you're working through right now that you think will appear in the next album? Um, that's good. That's a good question. Wow. I don't know. Um, I'll give a hint and say that Charlie is working on a new song that has some uh, Stanley Kubrick Lolita vibes really? to it. <laughs> right? That's I a theme. That's, uh, yeah, that's totally a theme. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, 
I, there was one thing I did want to ask you, because you are getting, like, you got, you know, accolades from Spin and Rolling Stone, and you hung out with uh, a guy from Fan on Planet, and, um, <laughs> and uh, Ryan, who was in More than three future. times, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, at least four, yeah. right? Um, I never met the singer, future, but the guitarist, yeah. yeah. Um, did they have any, and, and Ryan from Chronic Future, who was kind of a big thing in the Phoenix right, scene, right. like a decade ago or something. Um, uh, and he has his own label now. Yeah. Um, have they given you any advice for like, because you're getting bigger and bigger, like how to handle it and how to make the right moves and not have any regrets and make the most out of it? No, they pretty much just call us that when we're doing... I got advice to later. not get drunk and jump off of cars. Okay. And how'd that <laughs> work out? That didn't work out so good. <laughs> <laughs> And then, were you jumping off your own car, or...? Well, nope. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm, not proud, I'm not proud to say, but I... It's a stranger's I, car in a very <laughs> dangerous looking neighborhood. It's a green car. Oh, a license move. plate number, uh... <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> Damn burrito. <laughs> Damn four o'clock burritos. That'll do it at 4 a.m.? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are you guys listening to this summer? What's, like, your summer song? Your Heya for 2009. Heya! <laughs> I'm it's revisiting Heya. Oh, hey We're back in the Heya. We're bringing it back. Oh my god, a bee ran. Fire! <laughs> Sorry. Watch out. A bee was like right here in my face. Um, That's all I need. I guess uh, I started getting into that Dirty Projectors album and then um, really big into the Grizzly Bear album. Put a bee in my mouth now. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> or what are you listening on your iPod uh, when Private. nobody's talking? <laughs> hmm. Listening to the new 50 Cent mixtape. That's good. Beans. <laughs> MF Doom, mm, food. Yeah. <laughs> Big one. Paul Simon. I came a lot, he's great. T-Rex. T-Rex we were just listening to. Um, so uh, uh, the vintage groove in the band. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. MIA, we were listening to today. Mm -hmm. nice. Little uh, mango, mango down river pickle. pickle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If that's <laughs> down river pickle. Pickle river mango, down? River. Pickle never? Mango. Well, thank you so much for meeting up with me. Mango I pickle. Be, yeah. Anyway, okay. okay well, bye. Yeah, um, MIA, we're I done. can't have her. She's yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so thanks for coming out, and I'll see you at the show. Hey, no well, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, I'll. I'll take one too. Thank oh. you. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you guys. Come on. All right. Yeah, come on.